With the single speed transmission system, electric vehicles can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in just a matter of seconds. EVs have a transmission system just like other vehicles that uses power to turn the drive wheels. But unlike IC engine cars that have a multiple speed transmission system, EVs have a single speed transmission system that gives maximum torque right from the start. This makes it high revving, giving it up to 20,000 RPM. While EVs are powerful from the get-go, IC engine cars require frequent gear shifting to convert narrow ranges of usable torque and power to much higher ranges needed on the road. In fact, this transmission system only gets the IC engine car up to around 7,000 RPM and has a complex and heavy gearbox that brings high maintenance costs to users. The multiple gears in IC engine vehicles work on the concept of specific ratios. But this is not the case in the single speed transmission system in EVs, which has a single fixed reduction gear. This basically means that the motor runs at speeds higher than that of the wheels. Let's take a look at how the single speed transmission system works from the time you press the accelerator pedal. When you press down on the pedal, a corresponding amount of current is set to the motor controller. The motor controller feeds this current to the electric motor that draws power from the battery to rotate. As the shaft of the electric motor is connected to the drive gear in the gear system, it rotates along with the electric motor. When the drive gear rotates, it also rotates the driven gear. The drive gear in the gear system is connected to the differential that drives both wheels and lets them rotate at different speeds when needed. For instance, when turning a corner, the wheel on the outside has to rotate faster than the other. EVs can move forward or backwards with just the press of a button. This is because the electric motor can rotate both clockwise and anti-clockwise depending on the direction of current. In order to reverse the direction of current, the driver just has to press the reverse button. When the direction of current gets reversed, the polarity of the electromagnet in the motor also changes. This makes the motor rotate in the opposite direction, which in turn reverses the direction that the car travels. When it comes to EVs, there are four different drive wheel systems used. In front wheel drive, the electric motor is at the front of the vehicle, and in rear wheel drive, the electric motor is located at the rear end of the vehicle. EVs also come in four-wheel drive and all-wheel drive systems. Both systems require the placement of an electric motor at the front and back axles of the vehicle. Although they may seem similar, they differ in the way they power the wheels. All-wheel drives power the front and rear wheels simultaneously. The main difference between all-wheel and four-wheel drive system is that the latter can choose to send power to either the rear or front wheels. It can also decide whether it sends power to all four wheels. This allows the driver to choose which wheels the power is sent to with just a switch or a lever. As the single speed transmission system has a single fixed reduction gear, it is relatively simple and user friendly. The inner mechanical workings and movement of the parts in the gearbox often wear out and may break down. All of this is avoided in the single speed transmission system as construction is simpler and ultimately cuts down the overall maintenance costs. So, with electric vehicles, you can say goodbye to the Prindle system and shift gears to single speed.